Pacific Dawn arrived safely in Medang and was given a rousing traditional welcome at the wharf. Hundreds were present to greet the 2,000 plus tourists treated the Medang way. It was an adventurous experience, both cruise, diving, snorkeling, sightseeing with many photographs captured. Marie and John Rule from Perth, Australia were once residents of Papua New Guinea. 43 years ago, we were teaching at the Dendlei Technical College. I'm just really excited to be back in Papua New Guinea and it's bringing back so many memories. So lots of things I've forgotten and I'm really loving it. Loving to see the people, all, the, all your faces again. It's lovely. For Brian Brown, the voyage was to visit Karkar Island, where his best friend and best man, Robin Cook, died. So I have come on the Pacific Dawn to see where he worked and where he died. It was an income opportunity for locals from the sale of artifacts to tourists as a token and memory for visiting Medang. Medang's businessman Sir Peter Bartha said cruise ships promote Papua New Guinea's image and it was a good experience for Medang as a tourism destination. We need a lot of image building, so the cruise ships, I think, is the most important contribution is to be able to improve the image of uh, Papua New Guinea not only as a tourist destination, but uh, to realise its uh, tourism potential. Pacific Dawn is 245 metres superliner, three-storey cruise ship, owned and operated by PNO Australia. Over 100 of these tourists who arrived on the Pacific Dawn this morning were long-time residents of Medang, serving as missionaries and also working with the administration. Not only here in this beautiful province of Medang, but also other centers throughout the country. They're here to trace back their past. In Medang, Fabian Hakalitz, National MTV News.